Georgia becomes the first U.S. state to officially condemn Hindu phobia. We now have American states officially recognizing the existence of Hindu phobia. So Hindu phobia is getting mainstreamed. But let's let's dig into it. What happened? Recently, Georgia made history as the first states in the United States to take a legislative measure condemning, quote unquote, Hindu phobia. Republican state representatives Lauren McDonald and Tom J- Todd Jones passed the resolution in the House of Representatives. The resolution comes as other places in the United States, such as Seattle, Washington, made history by passing laws banning caste-based discrimination. The resolution recognized the many contributions made by the Hindu and Indian American community to the United States in various fields. It was noted that the Indian and Hindu American communities help enrich America's social fabric through things like Ayurveda, yoga, food, arts, music, meditation, which has improved the lives of millions of Americans that have adopted them. The resolution discussed the documented bigotry and hate crimes against Hindu Americans and accused certain sectors of academia of exacerbating Hindu phobia for allegedly accusing its religious texts of uh, and cultural practices of violence and oppression. Shobha Swami, a general secretary of the Coalition of Hindus of North America, said, we urged Uh, for their help in combating such bigotry, which advances hate and creates the idea that Hindus and people of Indian origin need special laws and monitoring due to allegations around some inherent propensity to discriminate. So there's some stuff going on below the surface here. I don't know if you picked up on it. So let's, let's dig into this. So the resolution talks about, you know, the contributions of Indian Americans and Hindus and the way it enriches the American social fabric. Great. Cool. Awesome. Yes, I agree. Fantastic. Indian Americans are out here killing it. They're doing better than literally everyone else. It's just a fact. Okay. (laughs) Um, But then the resolution goes into talking about how academia is making Hindu phobia worse. And academics are pushing bigoted ideas against Hindus. And so they, when it comes to Islamophobia, that word, usually people are not so obvious in utilizing it to shut down criticism. Hmm. I have never seen such an obvious way where they're just like straight up no this is to shut down criticism because they start calling out academics wow as promoting academics Academics. people criticizing hinduism or talking about hinduism yes in the way that they don't like wow yes 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 and i'm like are they maybe maybe the academics are actually hindu phobic towards people do we know if the academics are just doing like do you have any examples of speech that they don't like so well let me read the exact text from the resolution because i i found the copy of the resolution whereas hindu phobia is exacerbated and institutionalized by some in academia who support the dismantling of Hinduism and accuse its sacred texts and cultural practices of violence and oppression. Mm. The word that they use here, dismantling, is very important because there was a very, very big academic conference that happened within the past two years, and it was titled Dismantling Hindutva. And it was a conference of academics that study modern India who discuss the influence of Hindu nationalism on India, on Hinduism. And they also, in this conference, discussed how to protect themselves from the vitriolic, targeted, mass stalking that can happen to those that speak out against Hindutva, speak out against Hindu nationalism and essentially fascism. And so the fact that in this resolution, they say that by some in academia who support dismantling Hinduism and accuse its sacred texts and cultural practices of violence and oppression. 
any academic is more than welcome to a, accuse, maybe analyze and assess a text as contributing to violence and oppression in a historical context. That's what mm. historians do. I think this is also um, shots fired at um, uh, Audrey Tresky or whatever her name is. I can never pronounce it right. She's a very famous academic that is probably the most hated by Hindutva for her activism. They say that she whitewashes the Mughal Empire and like all this stuff. Um, Can we have her on? Can we have her on? Oh, geez. I'm not ready for the tidal wave of BS that's going to come raining down on our head again. (laughs) Um, uh, Yeah, maybe. Um, But I think that using this language demonizing academics in this context in a government resolution is very chilling. It's very chilling. What do you think about this whole thing, Armin? So here's the thing. We have experience with Islamophobia and the the thing, the problem with that is obvious. We want to protect Muslims and their rights. We don't want to protect Islam. And it's very clear that Islamophobia is being used to protect Islam rather than Muslims, right? With Hindu, so we don't have that clear Hindu phobia. We don't have that clear, dif- you know, differentiation between Hindu, you know, Hindus and Hinduism. They both have the word Hindu in them, right? But Muslim and Islam, like we don't have Islam, and the people who are called Muslims, they don't have the word Islam in their name, unlike Hindu. Or like Judaism and Jewish sounds more like each other. Christians and Christianity sound like each other. Atheists and atheism sounds like each other. But Islam and then Muslim, you know, so they don't sound like each other at all. So it's clear which one is the idea and which one is the people. But apparently you're telling me that they made it very clear what they're trying to protect here. It's not the people, it's the ideas, right? Because they're right at the beginning, they're going after people who are targeting Hinduism as a religion rather than anybody who's targeting the people so mm-hmm. that's 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 horrible and the fact that georgia is you know promoting that shows that you know this is gonna but th- this is gonna keep increasing like by the way rem- remind me again who were the people who told us that we like i specifically i'm still boxed in an islamic mindset and once a muslim always a muslim and we cannot the Islamic ways are the things that we can never um, separate ourselves from. And now you, we keep saying like time and time again, every time we go to Hindutva or Hindu nationalists, that they just copy the people they hate the most. They copy the tactics of Muslims all, every, you know, again and again and again. So the people who accuse other people of having an Islamic mindset basically are copying Islamic tactics all the time. And now yes. this. So, yep. yeah, we had the, the, the idea of using Islamophobia and now Hindu phobia. This is just a copy of that. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what? I say, I say we should do, we should, we should copy the Satanic Temple and we should copy them as well. Right. Fight fire with fire. Susie, would you be able to go to one of these? states or whatever politicians you could get your hands on and maybe start a campaign for us to start atheophobia and get that going huh can we do that so that if we if they come at us with hindu phobia i'm like uno reverse card yeah yeah you're yeah, yeah, atheoph- yeah you're the one who's doing atheo atheophobia atheophobia is that good atheophobia i know a lot of my good? ex-muslim friends say kafirphobia Kafir phobia. No, yeah, yeah. Um, so should we do that? Do we should we do that? I think we should do that. I'm serious. I think we should like push for Rick because that's a real thing, by the way. So mm-hmm. here's the thing. I wouldn't have a problem with recognizing Hindu phobia if Hinduism, if Hindu phobia was not about protecting Hinduism or Hinduitva, and it was about recognizing discrimination against Hindus. I would have and any part problem. of the resolution does that, but it throws in this other stuff too. Right. So that other stuff. Um, again, I wouldn't have any problem with fighting anti-Muslim bigotry, right? Um, 
But if we ever do atheophobia, we're going to talk about protecting atheists, you know, as individuals. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so should we do that? Do you think we should start like uh, recognizing atheophobia? We have a lot of studies to show that they are discriminated against. Seems like now that now that they're handing out phobias in you know left and right, <laughs> <laughs> they're left handing out phobias center. left and right. <laughs> Like you get a phobia, you get a phobia, you get a phobia. Everybody gets a phobia. Guys, everybody check under your seats. There's a phobia right under your seat specifically for you. Okay. Anyone but who has any criticism of me, it's Susie phobia. Okay. Susie phobia. And I'm putting yeah, you on a watch okay. list. <laughs> I think we should make that happen. I think we should make that happen. But one thing that I want to say, the last thing, is that I think that this is a response to the anti... Well, okay, here's the thing. Some people have been saying that this is a response to the anti-caste um, policies, anti-caste discrimination policies that have been coming down in the California higher education system, as well as now the city of Seattle. Um, and to be more accurate, this resolution was being worked on before those motions were passed. Um, but I do think that the contention over recognizing caste discrimination in the United States is going to continue to become more and more and more prominent. I think it's going to become more of a national conversation over the next coming years. Okay. Um, we have some super chats. Amazing. Yes. By the way, Darko, I think he upgraded his membership or something. I'm not sure. Yeah. Thank you, Darko. <laughs> Thank so you. That. So here's one super chat um, by the Armin Agitator saying, um, April 9th, three counselors front confront Bill and his chat absolutely, absolutely loves it. YouTube. Okay, so send this to me. We're not going to be able to watch it today. I've been very busy to catch up on the our cult activity, <laughs> but send this to me. I'll take a look and maybe we'll watch this next week. But thank you so much for the super chat. Um, and then GJ is saying, you want to read GJ's comment until I get, yeah, he's saying this is abuse of the term phobia is now becoming a contagion instead of its original definition, irrational fear. It's now coming to mean incorrectism. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> thank That's you for a good the way to the yeah. yeah, that's actually incorrectism. That's a good way to describe it. I like it. I like it. And Prometheus is making a good point. He's saying by Hinduism, they mean caste system. He's saying it's nothing to do with Hinduism. They're just pissed off because the laws against caste system and anti hindutva ideology. I'm frankly, I think that's what's at the heart of this. Frankly, I think that's what mm. I, that, that's at the heart of this. Mm -hmm. Um. Engagement American gave us a two dollar super chat and saying, "Are Republicans teaming up with Hindi or I think you meant Hindu conservatives?" Um, I think we might begin to see more and more of this. There's been a lot of polling in recent years that show that in when it comes to the Indian American diaspora, Indian Americans tend to be more liberal when it comes to American politics, but way more conservative when it comes to Indian politics. So their opinions on a similar issue can completely change based on the country, um, which is really interesting. Um, however, I think that we are going to see more Hindus trying to get involved with politicians in regards to painting a certain image and then therefore... Um, utilizing that when trying to put forward a certain image of the relationship between India and the United States. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting how we have now two, the tale of two states with how to, how they, and how they deal with Hinduism. We have in California, they're taking care, uh, they're taking the side of um, lower caste and outcast and in, Georgia, we're dealing with them taking the side of the Hindutva, I, think, I guess. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. How it's very, how... I mean, it's like so predictable though, because it's like the West Coast Silicon Valley stretch versus the Deep South. I mean, it's not really surprising. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind 
for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.